Okay, this guy actually stopped by and he said that he is not afraid of BB guns at all. So he offered to uh, let me shoot him uh, in the chest and uh, see what it does to him. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound like a good idea, but this guy says it's cool. So... It'll be fine. You ready? That one got him a little better, but as you can see, it just put a dent in his forehead. I don't think it went in. And uh, the one in his shirt. Let's see here. Okay, so it looks like that one did go in. So uh, 10 pumps on this uh, Daisy 880 will go through a Barbie doll, or at least uh, give it a pretty good injury. Okay, today I'm going to be doing a review on this Pump Master. We'll get more into the model number and everything, but it's a Pump Master 700 or something like that. Among other things, we're going to figure out uh, how powerful this thing is, how accurate. We're going to compare it to uh, an old school one of these that's actually made of wood. I picked this up for 25 bucks at a garage sale. If you're wondering who this little guy is, this is basically a one piece stuffed animal launcher that I've been working on so I'm gonna set this up there's some of the parts right there I'm gonna set this up so when you hit the bullseye this guy goes flying out of there so I'll have a video on that later this right here is my hat sand galation I got this really good deal off the air gun classifieds on this so I'm definitely gonna be doing some videos on that it came with a case this right here is something I'm probably gonna review pretty soon it's a one by four power fire field scope and uh, it's got mill dot. All my scopes have mill dot. So it's kind of cool for put on a home defense weapon or something because you can have one power, which basically gives you what you're looking at with crosshairs on it, or uh, four power for reaching out across the yard or whatever. So it turns out that the gun I'm testing right now is actually a Daisy 880. And uh, mine was obviously made a while ago, but they're still selling it. This is at Walmart. And, uh, this is a Daisy 880. It's 35 bucks. So if you do want a Pump Master 760, which is the wooden one I have, it's only 29 bucks. This is freaking awesome. So you can get one of those. Looks like you get some of these with it. That's legit. Get one for the girl, 24 bucks. I ended up getting the uh, Powerline 880S, which actually says it shoots 800 feet per second, which is pretty good. And uh, it uses pellets or BBs, so that's cool. And uh, these are both about the same price. I also got the 760 Pump Master, and that one also shoots pellets or BBs. And it doesn't say the FPS, oh, that's a 700 feet per second, so. We'll go ahead and compare these two, definitely. But for now, I'm just going to uh, unbox this Daisy and, and see what comes with it. See, it says it goes 800 feet per second. It's a multi-pump and it has dual ammo, which is uh, pellets or 177 caliber BBs. It comes with a scope. Looks like it does have open sights, which is cool. Adjustable. Uh, the barrel is rifled. That's cool. And... Uh, yeah, so I guess they came out with this design in 1972. There's some more specs on it right here. So it weighs three, exactly three pounds. Okay, so this is what comes in the box we got. A pretty nice instruction manual here. It's uh, very thick. 
probably in a few different languages. That right there is the scope. And uh, this comes zip tight in, so let me uh, unzip this. So the Crossman 880 has a 11 millimeter dove's tail rail on the top. You could adapt that if you want to put a bigger scope on it. It comes with this four power scope, which should probably do the job just fine. It's got a simulated wood grain on the plastic stock. Pretty cool stock. It's uh, checkered right there on the handle. We've got some checkering right here. And the way this pumps is actually kind of interesting. You don't pump this part. You just grab this handle here and pump that. Probably a little easier for the kids. This is actually a Powerline 3x9 mil dot scope that I'm going to put on this rifle because this rifle is actually for my friend. I do need to get some new rings for that. It's going to be a while. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and install this 4 power on so we can do some testing with this bad boy and see how accurate it is at 10, 20 yards and, and beyond. So I got this Daisy 4 power scope installed. I just needed a Phillips screwdriver. And it looks like to adjust the windage and elevation, you just unscrew the cap right here. And underneath there is an adjuster. You could probably adjust that with a dime or for sure a screwdriver. To load it, I'm just going to either put a 177 caliber pellet in there, close it. To load BBs, I'm going to find this door on the other side here, open it up, and go ahead and fill that port with BBs. And then I imagine I would just cock this and a BB will automatically feed in there. I did not notice this before, but the scope actually comes with its own instructions as well. I got these Crossman BBs for like $3 at Walmart when I got the gun. So I'm just going to open this little door right here. See how many I can dump in there. That was a little difficult. Uh, you'd probably want to do that on a towel or something so you don't spill BBs everywhere. But this probably holds about 100 BBs in there. So let's say I wanted to shoot a pellet instead of a BB. I'm going to cock it. Oh, it looks like... Uh, this must have a little magnet on it because it did actually bring a BB with it when I cocked it after I filled the BB reservoir. So apparently you can only shoot pellets out of this if there's no BBs in the reservoir. I kind of want to shoot pellets out of here first because it does have a rifled barrel and see how accurate this baby is. Okay, I gave it about 10 pumps with the handle down here and it was pretty easy to pump. We're going to go ahead and see what it's going to do to a fire extinguisher when I shoot it. Yeah, actually, uh, BB-8 offered to have it shot off his head, so we'll set him up. No, this will work. Yeah, that definitely had some good power, so uh, I'm going to take this outside and see about some target shooting. I picked this up for $30 at Walmart, and it's a semi-automatic CO2 BB pistol, so I'm going to be doing a review on that. It's got fiber optic sights. Okay, unfortunately, I do have to ship this uh, gun out to someone. I threw it on eBay thinking it would take a couple weeks to sell, and it sold right away, so... I didn't have a chance to go out and do any target shooting with this, but I would say it's definitely an excellent buy, the Crossman 880S. Let's see what a pellet will do. Okay, I'm going to try a few different 177 caliber pellets. So this right here is a 16 grain 177. This right here is actually a uh, 24 karat gold bullet that I saved just in case I need to shoot a zombie or some other creature that only takes gold bullets. So... We're going to go ahead and try a 16 grain out of this bad boy. Okay, so I have a uh, 16 grain 177 caliber pellet in here. Let's see what that does. Definitely had a little more power than the uh, BB did. So the uh, 16 grain pellet went 
in and out and you could see that some pretty good power from that little pump gun okay now we're going to try your run-of-the-mill 177 caliber pellet that's only seven grains these ones have been gold plated though but i'm going to see if i can take this guy's head off with it i went ahead and gave this one 11 pumps so let's see what happens here yeah this guy's very brave So I'm not really sure what this is all about, but it sprayed some grease out of there and uh, didn't do much to take his head off. So I'm just curious if a 16 grain bullet will take this guy's head off. Yeah, I think it's going to work. So this gun has been real easy to pump. I even just did 12 pumps and it doesn't really get hard to pump or anything. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can take this dude's head off with a 16 grain, 12 pumps. This guy's pretty strong. Uh, this is what it did to <laughs> the pellet. So uh, I'm going to aim a little different spot and try this one more time. Last attempt, 16 grain, 177 for caliber, heavy pellets. Well, I got to hand it to this guy. He has taken quite a few shots, and he is fine. So, uh, now I can see why he said he was not scared of BBs. And I guess he's not scared of pellets either. So, you'll probably be seeing this guy again. Almost. But not quite. just made a spark. 